With a population of over 5.6 million people, it's no surprise that Singapore is the home to some of the wealthiest people in the world. Many of them are the children and grandchildren of Singapore's richest people, and they're not afraid to flaunt their wealth all over social media. If you've ever wondered what life would be like as a rich kid of Singapore, sit tight. We'll be showing you how they live, eat, and travel in style. Just wait until you hear how much many of these kids are willing to pay for a first-class flight on Singapore Airlines. Stay tuned because you won't want to miss it. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we'll be showing you inside the lives of the rich kids of Singapore. Did you know that the net worth of Singapore's 50 richest people is well over $104 billion? Yes, it's true. And when it comes to sharing their wealth, they make sure that their family members are well taken care of. First, we'd like to introduce you to Kim Lim, the daughter of Peter Lim, a Singaporean billionaire tycoon. He owns a major stake in Valencia Football Club and he's also the owner of a Hong Kong-based media company. In 2017, he had a net worth of $2.1 billion. So what does this mean for his daughter, Kim? Well, it means she's able to live the type of lifestyle that most of us can only dream of. On her Instagram account, she frequently flaunts her wealth by sharing pictures of her expensive purchases and the traveling she has done all across the globe. Now that she's a mother of an adorable baby boy, she's passing the wealth down to the younger generation. Instead of waiting for her son to turn one, she went all out by throwing a lavish party to celebrate his 99th day on Earth. The glitzy event took place at the Ritz-Carlton in Singapore, and we're not sure how much he spent, but judging by the pictures, this definitely wasn't a cheap party. But the best part about being the daughter of a billionaire is Kim gets to rub elbows with some pretty famous people. She has posted photos of herself along with former football star David Beckham, and she's even close friends with Real Madrid superstar Cristiano Ronaldo. Another super rich Singaporean who loves to show off his wealth on social media is Dylan. Lee. Dylan is the son of a multi-millionaire and he spends a lot of time traveling all over the world and spending his family's money like there's no tomorrow. He has pictures of him gazing at the skyline from the edge of his infinity pool like it's no big deal and other photos of him behind the wheel of a super expensive boat in the middle of the crystal blue ocean. Can you imagine spending the whole day out on the water without ever having to worry about your finances? It must be nice to be a super rich and wealthy kid of Singapore. We'll show you more pictures from Dylan's luxury lifestyle a bit later. But for now, it's time to see what kind of mega mansion these rich kids sleep, eat, and hang out with their family and friends. For the elite and upper-class citizens, they don't even flinch when they hear the price of some of Singapore's most luxurious houses. In fact, they'll pay top dollar just to live in close proximity to other affluent citizens. One really popular style of house these rich kids love is called a good-class bungalow. We can imagine that many of the millionaires and billionaires of Singapore live in these homes around the fancy areas of Holland Village and Orchard Road. This means the homes are usually old older in age and the government considers them to be historic structures. In Singapore, these bungalows typically sit on over 15,000 square feet of land and they can sell for up to $30 million each. In 2013, history was made when a Singapore bungalow home, previously owned by a member of the Brunei royal family, went on the market for $300 million. To most of us, this is an insane amount of money, but to the rich kids of Singapore and their parents, they think these homes are worth every single penny. For a more modest dwelling, some of these families prefer to live in Sentosa Cove. It's a waterfront community, which means rich families can also park their luxury yachts right outside their back doors. To rent a home in this area, it will cost a rich Singaporean just $25,000 a month. If they prefer to make a purchase, they'll be looking at a price tag of $15 million to $48 million. But what good is a super expensive home if you can't fill up the closets with expensive designer clothes? These rich kids really know a thing or two about fashion, and they have a ton of shopping options all over Singapore. When they feel like going Going on a shopping spree, they fill up their supreme wallets full of cash and head out to Ion Orchard. The architecture sort of resembles a futuristic spaceship, doesn't it? Once you get inside, this mall turns into a wealthy kid's playground. It has all the best luxury boutiques, including Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Prada, and YSL. One rich Singaporean who probably visits this mall on a daily basis is Kane Lim. He's the son of a Singaporean family that owns billions of dollars worth of businesses. According to sources, he decided to branch out from his family and start his own business when he was just 17 years old. His company was so successful, he reportedly made his first million dollars when he was 20 years old. Now that he has a ton of cash of his own, he doesn't hesitate to spend it on the latest clothing, footwear, and jewelry. He reportedly owns over 200 pairs of shoes, and he loves to post pictures of himself all decked out in the latest designer fashions. Just check out this picture of him dripping in Givenchy, Versace, Louis Vuitton, and Valentino merchandise. His entire outfit probably costs more than what most people make in a month. But if that's not crazy, 
crazy enough, just check out this photo of him all iced out in dazzling Cartier bracelets. We're not too sure how much he spent on his arm candy, but Cartier is known for having diamond jewelry that's at least six figures. After breaking the bank at the mall, we wouldn't be surprised if these rich kids worked up a mean appetite. To ease their hunger pangs, they don't need to look any further than Singapore's fanciest restaurant, Iggy's at the Hilton Hotel. This restaurant only has 28 seats, so that means it's super exclusive. The rich kids who walk through its doors probably don't think twice about ordering every single thing on the menu. With prices reaching up to $235 per person, do you think the rich kids of Singapore are arguing over who has to pay the bill? Not a chance. On a typical night out, a group of rich kids will have more than enough cash and a bunch of credit cards available to take care of their expenses. Just check out this picture of a bunch of rich kids and their American Express black cards. To even get your hands on one of these credit cards, you have to have some major bucks. Card holders are expected to charge at least $350,000 a year on top of a $5,000 initiation fee and an annual fee of $2,500. One thing these rich kids probably aren't charging on their credit cards is their luxury vehicles. We can imagine and they probably pay for the entire car in full no matter how expensive it may be. But things are done differently in Singapore and to even drive their car is something most people can barely afford. Are you confused? Well, let us explain. Because the city-state is so congested with traffic, Singapore has to put a stop to the number of cars they allow on the road. This means they've jacked up the price car owners have to pay in order to even operate their vehicles. Drivers are required to purchase a certificate from the government that costs 37,000 US dollars before they get behind the wheel. The certificate lasts 10 years and then it needs to be repurchased over and over again. But if a Singaporean owns an SUV, the cost skyrockets to 74,000 US dollars per permit. The government introduced this tax in hopes that people would ditch their cars and take public transportation. This was in hopes to help alleviate some of the traffic on the roads. But a few thousand dollars isn't much to a rich kid, so we're sure they gladly pay the car tax. Remember Dylan, the rich kid we introduced you to a bit earlier in the video? Well, he also has a thing for expensive vehicles. Here he is behind the wheel of his super fancy Lamborghini. A vehicle by this car maker usually costs at least $200,000. But that's not all. He also owns a Cadillac Escalade. This car has a starting price of well over $70,000. The most difficult decision most of these kids are faced with is which car they should take out for a spin. This rich kid shared a photo of all of their car keys, from Bentleys to Audis and Mercedes Benzes, all surrounded by expensive watches, of course. Speaking of watches, these well wealthy kids love to wear nice, fancy timepieces on their wrists. Their favorite brand seems to be luxury Swiss watches by Richard Mill. This is the brand these kids flock to when they want glamorous and expensive pieces that will wow all of their friends. Considering this brand has watches priced over $690,000 to $2 million, this is a very expensive item to collect. When they're not collecting watches, they're focusing on one of their favorite hobbies, traveling the world. Being a part of Singapore's upper class means these kids don't have to live their lives while being stranded in just one place. They're able to travel and explore the world whenever they feel like jetting out of town. For most of us, we have to deal with long TSA lines before sitting in a cramped airplane seat for hours on end. But you'll probably never see a rich kid of Singapore sitting in an economy seat. They only fly in first class. One of the most popular ways for them to travel is by purchasing a first class ticket on Singapore Airlines. In 2008, the airline redesigned its seats to make them much more comfortable for rich kids and other affluent travelers. The suites have double beds and interiors designed by a luxury French designer. Can you guess how much a first-class round-trip ticket would cost? Well, at the time the new suites were introduced, they were priced at $18,400. Since most rich kids jet out of town multiple times a month, this cost can really add up. But do you think they care? Of course not. They have more money than they know what to do with, so spending thousands of dollars on plane tickets is no big deal to them at all. As they settle into their first-class seat to watch a movie or nibble on a decadent meal, they prepare to arrive at their destination. Some Singaporean kids love to fly to Las Vegas to hit up the gambling tables and spend thousands of dollars in one sitting. Others prefer to chill out on a luxury yacht in the middle of the sea. Wherever they end up traveling to, they're sure to have a ball. And by the time they return to Singapore, we're sure that their depleted bank accounts are instantly replenished with even more cash. That brings us to the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments section if you were shocked by how these rich kids are living. The most original reply will get pinned to our channel. Be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when we upload a brand new video. See you next time.